Hey everybody, today I'm going to show off a few methods to fix the 500 internal server error you may be experiencing on WordPress. So let's get right into it. The 500 internal server error runs on every page of your site when there's a problem with the server or file system. The cause most likely occurs in the root directory where your WordPress files are, but it can also be caused by a problem on your host server. I'm going to show you a few ways you can fix this problem, but before we begin, I recommend you make a backup of your site before trying any of these solutions in in case something goes wrong. A common cause of this error is a corrupted.htaccess file. It can become corrupted after you install a plugin or make another change to your WordPress site. The fix is simple since all you need to do is create a new htaccess file. Open up your WordPress root directory in your preferred FTP client. If you see folders named WP admin, WP content, WP includes, you're in the right place. If you don't see your .htaccess file or any dot .files for that matter, make hidden files viewable by clicking server and selecting force showing hidden files. Now this will be different on every FTP client. I'm using FileZilla, but it should be pretty similar. Once you find your .htaccess file, rename it .htaccess.bak. This essentially deletes your site's .htaccess file. So now we need to create a new one. Go into your WordPress admin area, hover over settings and click permalinks. Scroll down to the bottom of the page and hit save changes. Now check and see if the 500 internal server error is gone. If it is, it was caused by a corrupt htaccess file. It's also worth mentioning that an improperly named .htaccess file will cause this error to run on your site. So make sure it's not named anything other than .htaccess. So if you're still having an issue, then let's talk about another common cause of this error, which is exceeding your server's PHP memory limit. This usually happens because of a poorly coded plugin running on your site or using too many plugins. You'll begin to exceed the PHP memory limits set by your hosting provider. And once either of those things happen, the result becomes a 500 internal server error. Once again, open up your root directory and locate the wp-config.php file. Open this file in your preferred text editor and add this bit of code under the opening PHP tag. Define WP memory limit 64M and we'll close that up. Save the file and re-upload it to your root directory. Now go ahead and refresh your website. If you're still seeing the error, then you're not having PHP memory limit issues. If that did not fix the issue, then remove this line of code because it wasn't a problem. If this line of code worked, then great. I still recommend figuring out what caused you to reach the limit and you could always ask your host to increase the limit on your server. But if both of those solutions did not work for you, then let's try a few less common solutions. If you're able to access the WordPress admin area, deactivate your plugins one by one. Refresh your website after each deactivation and if the error disappears, it was likely caused by that plugin. If you cannot access the WordPress admin area, go back to your FTP client, open the root directory and open up the wp-content folder. This folder contains your plugins, themes and other folders. Rename the plugins folder to anything you wish like plugins.test. This deactivates all the plugins on your site and now refresh your site and check if the error is gone. If it is, then it's caused by a faulty plugin. You'll have to go back and enable them one by one to figure out the culprit. If that didn't work, then be sure to revert your folder back to just plugins. Another solution would be to debug your website. And this is a bit intimidating for beginners, but if you wanna give it a shot, head on over to the blog post I linked in the description, which shows you step by step how to do it. As for other solutions, which are more unlikely, you can check the file permissions in your WordPress directory. They should be 755 or 644. If not, they could be causing the 500 internal server error. You can also upload fresh versions of wp-admin and wp-includes to your site, but this should be a last resort. Again, back up your website before trying this, but once you do, simply re-download WordPress and only upload the dash wp-admin and dash wp-includes folder to your root. If this works, then that means you had a corrupted core file. If none of these solutions worked for you, then the only option left is to give up. Now I'm just kidding. What you need to do now is contact your host. Many hosts won't be much of a help and they'll actually blame your site's files for the issue, which again is definitely a possibility. So make sure you really tried all of the steps I mentioned before contacting them. If you tried everything, then politely ask them to check their server logs to see if the issue is there. At the end of the day, I recommend you back up your site on a regular basis and update your plugins, themes, and WordPress core files as soon as they're available to prevent this from happening. If this video helped you in any way, then be sure to hit that like button, subscribe, and also follow us on all of our social platforms to know when we release new content. With that said, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.